Grep and the story editor are two ways to expedite your InDesign text formatting and editing processes. Grep is a Unix command used to search files for the occurrence of a string of characters that matches a specified pattern. At its most basic level, it is an expansion of the Find Change feature available in most software applications that allows, among other things, for the searching of hidden characters, text variables, and otherwise hard to search for content. For those of you wondering, GREP stands for Global Regular Expression Print. The story editor within InDesign allows users to separate text from the layout design process. When working in an InDesign document, it is easier to focus on what it looks like, the design and the layout. However, there may be times when the text provided is not perfect and needs to be updated either to change what it says or to clean it up. The story editor is the perfect place to do the editing. GREP can be used in a number of ways in InDesign. For today's lecture, we will focus on expanding the capabilities of the Find Change dialog box. Once the Find Change dialog box has been launched, and you can launch that via the Edit menu, Find and Change, GREP can be used by selecting the GREP option at the top of the dialog box. I recommend exploring the Query drop-down menu. Once you feel comfortable with the Query options and how they are used to find change text in InDesign, you can expand your GREP repertoire by using the Find What and Change To entry fields to enter custom GREP codes. So in my example here, I am going to try to get rid of multiple enter keys or return hits and to modify them to just have a single return. Notice the code that is entered when I selected multiple return to single return grep query preset. It has a little, um, little tilde b tilde b plus. This is the grep code to find multiple returns or enter key strikes. And the forward slash r is the code to replace them with a single return or enter key strike. We'll stick to the presets in this class, but if you're interested in learning more about grep, check out these resources for additional grep queries and information. So um, the lady that made the first link is like the, the grep god. She knows everything about grep, and if you ever attend one of the InDesign conferences, she always hosts the grep sessions. Um, there are so many things that you can do with grep that it would probably make your head explode if we try to talk about them all right at once. But if, you're, if this is something that interests you and you want to be able to search and, and format things in a more complex way, uh, check out these three websites. They have really good resources. So going back to our example, next, if I choose the find next and then change or change all, InDesign will systematically scan my document to find multiple returns like in the example below and then remove them by replacing them with a single return. This can also be done with finding multiple spacebar strikes. So in the example here, uh, to key faculty in this discussion, comma, uh, it has two enter returns in this, this wording here. If I wanted to have a single return, I could go and I could look through the entire document, it might be 500 pages, and I could manually hit the backspace key to get rid of them, or I can use the query that will automatically format my find what and change to to find double or multiple return keys, because that's the key, is that we're not looking for two enter strikes, we're looking for any that's more than one, and to return them with just a single enter or return strike. It can also be done with spaces. Notice how there's multiple spaces between some of these words. You can choose the query that will say, look for multiple spacebar strikes and return them with single spacebar strikes. InDesign also has a story editor that can be used to edit large bodies of text without the distraction of formatting. It also allows users to see and edit text as one continuous document. This is helpful if articles and or chapters span multiple pages within a design. To launch the story editor, you will use the edit menu and choose edit in story editor. You can then use it to edit the text, change the words, run a find and change to replace words. Uh, you can remove unwanted hidden characters, etc. And a benefit of this is you're just seeing the text. So you don't have to go from page one to page six to page 24 to continue to follow the article as you're reading it. You can see everything you need in the text editor or the story editor and then close it out when you're done. And those changes will automatically uh, be applied into your InDesign document.